Hello everybody, this is Ton Ton and I'm back with a very late review of the Transformer Siege it's Omega Supreme so I know that this figure has been released for a while and I'm really hesitant for doing this review because of the size of the figure but since I have nothing to do now I'm gonna re review him today so this is the box as you see it's a pretty big box for standard Transformer figure so up front we have made Omega Supreme fighting some Decepticons and I really hope that it, this will be a scene in the upcoming series on Netflix and this is the size here as you can see the characters and the arc launching so maybe this is the part that Earth, Earthrise will begin onto the back we have the figures and some the transformation so we have the figure itself the base form and the tank this will be the upper body section of Omega Supreme and this is on the another scene of the arc this and this is a Titan class so this is Omega Supreme in the base mode and this is such a big piece but I'm gonna leave him here for now but first I want to show you all that comes in the box of course we have Omega Supreme over here then we have this uh, minifigure this is supposed to be a Micro con or something. I'm gonna leave him here. You can you can play with him later. And we do have some sets of effect parts. This is like explosion. We have two right here. This is the same size. I'm gonna take a closer look in the robot mode. And this here we have some bigger effect parts. This is a bigger set over here. And we he comes with two instruction manual. So one is in English here and one is in Chinese I don't speak Chinese but so I'm gonna focus on the English one so this is the instruction pull everything out at this size you have some information about his weaponry as you can see here, he has three main weapons in Omega Supreme mode. And that is the Plasma Blaster, the Laser Cannon, and the Crusher Claw. And if you turn him on this side here, this is quite a big manual. As you can see, he has 37 steps of transformation. So that is an average number transforming a transformer figure and out of that we also have some uh, other here this is for transformation of the uh, microcon and this here are the opening gimmicks of the rocket and the base and this is the tank so you have some gimmicks here and there and this is how you fit the microcon onto the shoulders of Omega Supreme and this is the instruction of how to input the effects onto Omega Supreme a little focus on the trans on the effects as you can see here that th there's an explosion here and there and even on the rocket so it might be a prediction that during the show Omega Supreme will be attacked and maybe he get destroyed in the upcoming Netflix show and this is the uh, some options that you can have this is some with the Micro Master and the Battle Master they do have their effects and they all use the same joint so you can actually combine and put them onto Omega Supreme this is the location of the connection point so as you can see Omega Supreme here it has three different sections of himself first we have the base here and then we have the tank and final is the rocket and as you can see this is quite a big rocket I'm gonna try and fit him into the frame and as you can see this is a rocket that's supposed to be launched that is why an I don't think this is a good idea because if you think what happened if they launch the rocket and then they need Metroplex to be transformed I hope that they explain that in the upcoming series 
But now let's talk about the rocket. So this is the rocket. This is a really long piece, not that big. And from the look, you can clearly see that this will be the arm section of Omega Supreme. This will be the one end and this will be the other. Despite from that, this is a normal rocket design, to be honest. You have some gaps here. This is for closing and opening. And if you look closely to all the details here and there, you can see that in the length of the rocket, there are a lot of tube and details. This shows that the energy will be transferred circling around the rocket for the flight. And as you can see here, you have some burned detail up here and up front here as you can see, all around the rocket. So I suspect that this this place will be attacked and it will show in the show itself. And if even if you look here underneath, you can see the paint. It's the first is like the gray paint and then it's moved to a black. So it shows that this area has been burned during the launch sequences. And even the clear part here is quite interesting. This is obviously clear orange but up in the tip of the fingers this is just a normal orange paint so it shows that this section has a lot of contact with other materials and burn and heat so it changed the shades of the fingers itself and one interesting gimmick over here is that this section can actually be open and to review a cockpit for a MicroMaster, it fits right in here. And I'm gonna put him aside. And if you look closely here, you can see the details of a uh, cockpit. Ah, there we go. You can see the, the control panel over there to operate the rocket itself. So this is a quite a nice touch from Takara because normally with a figure of this size and with such a small gimmick, they would not include a sculpted control panel inside a hollow piece like this. They normally just skip it. So I give them a really high credit for actually going through all the troubles of making the detailed cockpit. So if you look on this size here, you can see them other two. So this is a really nice touch. And as you can see, you can see the screen. I'll show you. Here we go. This is the screen and the control panel. So that is actually a really nice touch of Takara. The second part of Omega Supreme, this is the tank. And as you can clearly see, this will be the upper body section of Omega Supreme. I'm gonna give it a turn. All the sides here. This is, it had not, nothing too significant to it. The chain here doesn't function at all. This is all fake details. The actually moving parts of this tank is this two uh, thingy right here. But as you can see, it rolls pretty well, even better onto the base. The second part of it is the cannons. You have three over here. They move on a hinge joint. So sadly, this piece cannot rotate because it is fixed with the head of Omega Supreme, but I think if we maybe we move it a little bit down like that, then you can have it spinning. Then this is just a make make do thing, to be honest. And you can clearly see Omega Supreme head over here. This also has a joint like that, but it is mostly for transformation only. And the nice thing about the tank that it actually can be open as a carriage so to do that you need to press on this two section over here and then lift it up and once you lift it up you can see this is actually a carriage so the actually mini horns can be rolling down like that once we open this hatch you can see a mini con can be stored but then a lot of people would ask how can it not be shaking around when you play with the tank so the answer for that is this for piece of plastic over here and here. They fit perfectly onto the size of a mini corn so that it can stand like that. 
And actually, when you close it, this part here, the uh, section that will be opened out, we can actually can put that as a secure point for the mini cons. So that is actually a quite a nice touch. And if you look here, you can see that they have details for the two lines. That actually it, it is fit the wheel size of the mini con. So you have a road over here. So and when you flip this out, this will be flat enough, just as the size of the ground. So nothing will be it could not be like this or, or too low in the ground. So actually that is a nice engineering all thanks to this extra the wheel thing here. So it adds a little bit of height onto the tank. So all the wheels and the trench here are fixed. But thanks for that because we actually we don't need a uh, functional chain here because it's not as necessary as we think it would be. So that it is for the tank mode. Besides that, the tank is pretty much it. And if I have to mention any add-ons to the tank, that would be that this three guns here are compatible with the effect parts. So you can actually mimic and exploding or shooting. I'm gonna show you now. So this is the effect parts, the shooting effects here, here, and here. So this is actually all compatible so you can remove it out like that. So it comes in six pieces over here. I'm going to show you one, two, three, four, five, six, and oh sorry I forgot there's another one so there will be seven. I left it under the table, my bad. So this can freely combine into any shape you want, like that. So you can have like a super, super big explosion, like that, coming out of the biggest, the red gun, like that. And you can have these two smaller guns having this shooting effect, like that. And the good thing is it and you have it left with this one and the good thing is um, the effects doesn't weigh down the joint so actually the guns has a pretty good joint set so yeah you can have him shooting all over the place like that so the final component of omega supreme is the base form here as you can see quite a hefty base and the first thing to notice about the base that which is what i like this is this road section here actually this is not road this is bridge as you can see because they have these pillars the frame section here so i quite like that the idea is of a bridge system circling around the base itself and then if we turn him at this size here this can be used as a hanger for the autobots and i want to give you a size of a minicon so, so you can see like this is really be suitable as a base uh, let me just grab him this is the size of a minicon in the base and as you can see this is a really nice hanger you can actually put the figures here it all fits and then you have all the uh, missiles here four big one and eight smaller ones and the final thing about this is this gimmick as you can see this is a, a kind of road so you can actually deploy down which is pretty nice this is just a basic base i'm going to give you a turn 360 turns and this is another interesting gimmicks you can actually open this to review like a uh, garage or a launching gate so you can store minicons over here it. Another 360 spin. Oh, sorry, this part comes out. And here, this is still the base. But up to this, this is actually a scratch because we all know this is the he bodies and the leg of Omega Supreme. And turn it another 360. And this is another leg of him. And then we'll finish. So I'm gonna try to this. I'm gonna try to put some figures onto 
Omega Supreme to see if they fit on this road or not. So, can other component first is a tank. So, it can fit due to this wheel thing here to be the main contact point. So it fits perfectly in. But then you can see it is quite a stupid idea because the trench section got to be outside. Now, I'm going to remove that. Then again, we have the small mini con, of course they fit. Then we have a deluxe, deluxe class figure. This is Cliff Jumper. As you can see, he fits perfectly. What about leader class? So this is leader class, Earthrise Optimus. As you can see, another perfectly fit. So yeah, it's quite fit. So you can actually have the Autobots rolling. And this is the interesting part here. I'm gonna show you that you can actually create a diorama with this. You can actually have this explosion effects here and there. Okay, all the ports. I'm gonna turn it here like that. So anywhere there's this black mark, that is where you can actually put the effect parts in to create like a dead battle state of the Decepticon attacking Omega Supreme, like that. So I'm gonna put a, fig a figure here, so you can see that it fits really well. The overall fits is pretty well. Of course, there are two more, so I'm gonna plug them here due to mimic the explode the smaller explosion. Oh, sorry, my bad. So yeah, that is quite a nice touch because. Instead of just being another transformer figure, this Titan class actually gave you the opportunity of having a like a displays option, like a diorama, so you can display like, all of your transformer figure at once, like creating a battle scene or something, which I really like about this figure. Like I have him display in this mode most most of the time with my uh, other figures posing around it. Another thing about this base is, as you all know, some Earthrise figure and some Siege figure has this connection port for the base. I have mentioned that in some of my old review. You can check them out. And this connection port, the function of it is actually they can let us to be creative. And this is some piece that I got from the Earthrise Iron Work figures. This is the back piece, so you can actually connect them here to make a uh, like a uh, landing platform like that or you can mimic you can add on a little you can do whatever you want and create here to form a uh, construction site let me try to fit it come on get in place man. So you can actually have like a uh, construction site. So this is what Takara has recently been doing. So they give us more like the uh, playing value of their figures instead of just like standalone figures like we used to have the Transformer figures. Upon transformation, I'm gonna start with the base first since it will be the mostly of Metroplex. First, remove this bridge like that. them here and this is the other one fold everything in like this make sure you have this piece around like that that is done with the bridge and upon with this, what you want to do now is fold in this section so they are covering the thighs. Turn the hips like that. Bring down the leg like that. Bring everything down and just move it. Just and this is the first. As for the rocket. First, um, 
on top of this top here, top like that, bend it like this, then push this up. This is like the joint like this, extend the joint, bring this whole section out, fold this, this inside, this as well, bend it down like that, bring down the arms. And this will be the arm section of Omega Supreme. The final component is the tank. What we want to do now is open up this section like that. First, bring this down and tap the, the head section. Bring the gun up. What you're going to do now is bring down this whole section here, collapse it. You see the head now, rotate the guns into this position and then fold this whole section in like that. And then with the gun, now you can take this joint here, bend it, also bend this and then we leave it here, close up this section and then relocate the whole section of the chest. Bring this down, this tab in, a small tab here. Remember, you have to push this in all the way in. You see this wide tab? You wanna tap it in securely, like that. And this is the final component. So to attach, you can see that in the back, there's this spring-loaded here, joint. So it will lock in the whole arm section so to insert that so slide in like that be careful a little bit here this is quite a tricky part for people that are not used to handling this size figure like that so the armor are locked into places also as this rocket booster part here are locked as is the wing one of them this size here so what you are doing now is actually bring the arm up so it doesn't get in the way and just gonna slide this in and to do that you need to you want you want to bring this up so it doesn't get in the way so I'm just gonna slide it in like that like that slide it in so up to this size you want to do the same thing up the arms, it makes your life easier. And relocate this joint, this part here, so it doesn't collapse on the way. You bring this in like that. There we go. Bring this up a little bit, slide it in, then we're done. With the back section here, you want to be on this. And there's a tab here. I'm going to tap this two pieces in so they are secure bring this up so this is going to be an easy job here and bring this whole section just push it in like that you hear the sound bring this down bring this down flip this up bring down the arms and then remember he has a small cannon cannon horn flip it up this is with the neck pull it out so you get some articulation there we go and this is made omega supreme in his robot mode this is omega supreme in the robot mode i'm going to bring him closer so you can see first is the head this is the og omega supreme head i hate this face why do you have a robot face inside a glass surface like a helmet and you have need oxygen i don't understand that concept at all but then again, it is a nice head. This face reminds me of Jetfire. So actually, I'm going to look again to see if it is the same face or not. And again, you have this beautiful, clear, yellow color plastic. Same as the chest here. And you have the tube. This is actually rubber, so you don't have to worry about breaking it. Otherwise, cover with the whole body, it's the same levels of details and of the, all the mechanical details that 
the siege figures are famous for. I really like that. It's actually a really nice touch to it. And up on the here chest here, you can still open the missile. So you have TD's missile with Omega Supreme. Just give me a second. Sometimes this joint can be really tight. You still have his TD's missile. Like that, close it in. You have some paint here. This is silver paint. As for the arms and the articulation of the arms, this is all ratchet joint. So, because it's really big, move here and you have a uh, swivel here. This is really tight, so I'm not bother, I'm not gonna bother. The arms here also is interesting. You see, you see the claw. You have one ratchet joint here and one hinge joint each. So, you actually have three hinge two joint per fingers actually really nice and this hole here can be attached with the effect parts I'm just gonna plug it in like that so he's shooting something you can uh, display the finger post in any pose you like and also if with the tips you this is really nice so I'm gonna remove this and actually you can put the effects up to the tips of the fingers so it actually makes it looks longer and like a claw sorry my bad and it actually looks like a claw so yeah interesting concept i might do some modification with this later on you know might like 3d paint 3d print them out and then make a modi modification and if you turn to this size here this are the arms. This is the left arms. The left arms this is the same articulation as this, this arm here. But then you don't have the fingers, you have a rotating blaster. So still the same. You can plug in the FX and put it here. Like that. So you still can do his pew pew thing. That is for the arms. As for the head articulation, put on the neck. His head can do a 360. Look up, look, look up here, look down, turn it around. Nothing too major. The back of the figures has nothing movable. So you still have this rocket FX. Now it looks like a thruster. And the bridge now becomes the wing. But I doubt that this wing can be used for flight. I think this is just for display only. And you still have a crazy amount of details like I have mentioned. And I really enjoy that. And turn it around, there's another gimmick I want to show you. This is the Minicon. As you can see, the Minicons actually have a joint in his stomach that can be used to plug him, plug him either it's in a secure way doesn't worry about falling on anything that is a really nice touch the hips articulation you have a swivel here this is ratchet joint so it holds together really really well yeah, sorry that is the hips no up and down crunch the spread and a full spread which is really impressive this is all ratchet joint Swivel here, fast swivel. The bend at the knee. This is a really nice touch. So the knee is not really hollow. You can see this is a bunch of ratchet joint. You get a feet, foot back. So we can actually do this. Really impressive. This is the maximum. So that is a really nice foot articulation and also this gate here can also be open and be used as a deployment platform during battle. Inside the details of the leg, we do have a lot of mechanical details and all the wheels and the uh, exhaust pipe here. But I do wish that there are more paint here so to make the figures 
or the details be more highlighted. I would really appreciate that. And otherwise, this is time for size comparison. This is size comparison. This is Omega Supreme with Deluxe Iron Works, Deluxe Cliff Jumper, and the Leader Class Optimus. So as you can see from the size here, he towers over all the other figures. And imagine this. So a normal Cybertronian size would be around Iron Works and Cliff Jumper. So imagine you are a Decepticon and you're fighting and you meet someone as like tall as Prime, you're already scared. And then you see this guy, that would be a really panic. So I really, really hope to see that reaction in the upcoming series on Netflix. As you can see here, Optimus just stand over like nearly his knee. Not even his knee, but like nearly. And if you compare the size of the arm here, not even as long as the arms. And cliff jumper here, just like the fingertips. To kind of understand how panic it would be for the Decepticons, I'm gonna have Metroplex wrapping over cliff jumper here with his claw arm. You see that they are really, really nothing compared to this Titan class here. Really small robot. This is really big robot. That is really impressive. And now this is some pictures. Uh, poses I do with Omega Supreme and hope you enjoyed it. So that will be the end for this review here the uh, Titan class Transformer Siege Omega Supreme. I hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope to review a uh, figures that will be the tips of some bigger ones in the future. And anyway follow me on YouTube and subscribe to me on Instagram. See ya!